Hi. And welcome. Welcome. Welcome to Earth. Good day. Welcome to the big show. Hey guys, this is Mr. A and welcome back. Uh, you know, the other day when we were in class and we were talking about everybody's favorite foods or favorite restaurants and fast food restaurants, I was kind of surprised to find out how many of you had never heard of uh, In-N-Out Burger and their not-so-secret menu. They call it the not-so-secret menu because people know about it and they don't really make it a secret, but it's kind of secret because it's not actually on any of their menus in the store. You have to ask for it when you go in. And uh, instead of sending you to the website, I thought I'd bring the food to you and show you what, uh, what some of the not-so-secret items are. So today we're going to look at those items and figure out how you can write equations in and out style, right? Looking at some of their prices and how we can uh, write an equation for this stuff. So I bet you never thought math would taste so good, but here it is. Now uh, the first that's kind of popular is animal style. They take their burger, put some onions and a secret sauce on there, cooked onions. They got animal style fries with uh, the same addition, the onions and the secret sauce. They got fries well done, which are kind of crispy, right? Because their normal fries are a little, little bit flimsy. And then they got protein style, which is instead of the bun, you just kind of wrap it in some lettuce and you got your burger to go that way. Well, another thing that they do that uh, I never really heard of is you can order any number of patties and layers of cheese that you want. So as many extra layers that you want on on your burger. And uh, I came across this blog where this guy was talking about how he and a buddy of his had a competition going. And the competition was to see who could eat the biggest burger from in and out And uh, it got kind of crazy. You know, they were at seven layers, eight layers, and eventually this one guy just decided to end it. And he went for the gut buster and ordered up the 20 by 20. So on his blog, he kind of details what happened. He goes in, he orders up the 20 by 20. He gets it. People are kind of looking at him. The employees there are wondering if he's really going to finish. You know, he looks good. He's got a smile on his face. Looks kind of confident. Uh, takes his first bite. He looks like he's digging it. Confident he's going to come out the winner. He's got a few layers in him. Maybe he's slowing down. I don't know. And then uh, he's got this last picture posted. He's sweating it. Right, he's just, uh, it looks like he's doing whatever he can just to keep the food down. Well, he did win the competition, went home that day, wasn't feeling so well. And uh, anyway, hey, he won, put down the 20 by 20. Well, knowing this, we can kind of figure out, you know, knowing some prices, we can kind of figure out, you know, like, I want to know how much did this guy pay for his burger? I mean, that's kind of an expensive bet if all that he got was bragging rights, huh? So... As it turns out, a double-double, two beef patties, two slices of cheese, let's say it costs $2.99. And each additional layer that you add on costs an additional $0.75. Cents. Well, that's the first question. The next question, which I want to know, is how much did this guy's burger cost, the 20 by 20? And then if we figure out a way to do that for his burger, we can expand that to any number of humongous burgers and we can write an equation that represents any number of additional layers, right? So let's go back to the first question that's kind of on my mind here. How much did this guy's burger cost? Well, he had how many layers? He had 20 layers. And so what does that look like? How much is that going to cost? Well, up here it says that we've got $2.99 as the base price of the double-double. And then additional, we're going to add in uh, another however many layers we need to come up with 20. So 0.75 or 75 cents times how many layers here? Well, he had 20. With the double-double base price right here, he gets two. So how many layers does he need to add in? Yeah, he needs to add in another 18 layers. And so if we do the work on this one, we can see 299 plus 0.75 times 18 I'm coming up with a funny answer here, but here it is. $16.49. Okay, that's kind of an expensive burger, but 
And I guess that's what you pay for for bragging rights, right? So that's how much his burger cost. Well, can we figure out how much any different number of burger costs? Let's, uh, let's answer this next question. Can we write an equation that represents any number of additional layers? Well, we already came up with 20, so let's come up with rules for some extras, for some extra different variations. What if we, we're not that hungry, right? We just want a five-layer gut buster. So that's going to look like 299 plus 75 cents times how many additional layers are we ordering to get five? Remember, we already have two with the double-double, so we need an additional three. Okay, let's not figure out the cost right now. Let's just move on to some other combinations. We'll look at what about 10 layers. 10 layers is still going to be the basic 299 plus 75 cents times how many layers are we going to order extra? Yeah, that's right, we got eight. And what about, I don't know, let's go crazy. Uh, we're a little bit hungry, but not as hungry as the guy that we just watched put down the 20 by 20. So how about 15 patties? Looks like 299 plus 75 cents times an additional 13 patties. Well, we could figure out total cost on all these, but what if we just went back and and let's look at total cost just to see how it would change. Okay, so as we write this equation, let's sort of look here and see and see what we're dealing with. It looks like in all these, this number is constant. It stayed the same in each one, $2.99 plus the next constant here, all of the coefficients were 75 cents, but look at what did change. The thing that changed or varied from equation to equation was the number of extra patties that we needed, so or layers. So how do you want to write that? We need to put something that represents the varying number, something that varies. Well, that's a variable. So we could put in, uh, let's put in L for the number of layers. Okay, and that's going to equal to, well, if this is L for the number of layers, then this is this column right here would be the total cost, and it looks like that's changing every time too. So we can call that, what about C for cost or total cost? So it looks like based on the pattern that we looked at, we can come up with an equation, and really simply all that we did is we put in variables, we put in L for the number of extra layers, and then C for the total cost, because those are the, thing that's, the things that are changing that we don't really know. Okay, so here's our equation. So good, now before we uh, go in to get our favorite fast food, we can sit down with our calculator and figure out how much our burger is going to cost us. Well, now that we have that, you thought the 20 by 20 was bad. Look at this guy. I hope no one person ate that, right? I mean, that's, that's like a huge burger. Well, I can't count the number of layers, and I really didn't even see in the picture uh, like how many layers there were when I downloaded this, but what if I told you the burger cost $77.99? Is there any way that we could figure out how many extra layers they put on there? Well, sure, let's go back to cost is equal to $2.99 plus our 75 cents times the number of extra layers. Well, in this equation, what am I looking for? Is it cost or layers? You know, it says how many layers, so that's the variable that I'm looking to solve for is L. Well, I do have the total cost, $77.99, so let me substitute that in for C. C is $77.99, which is equal to $2.99 plus 75 cents times the variable that we're looking for, L. And what we're going to do here is just solve by getting rid of this constant. We'll subtract that from both sides, and we get $75, right? That was in dollars. $75 is equal to 0 0.75 times L. And so it looks like our last step, we're almost there. Just divide both sides by 0.75 and we get the number of layers, once you divide that, is going to be 100. So the number of layers in that burger is not 100. Remember we solved for L, which is the number of extra layers. This ends up being the total layers for that burger were what? We had right here, right? We had two for the double-double plus the extra 100. Looks like 102 layers of burger. So there you go. We, uh, we just did some in and out math.